Hello there, everybody, and welcome to Chamberlain's Choice. As we have renamed the channel, now we are calling it Chamberlain's Choice because we're giving you our choice for these terrific thoroughbred races that are going on across the country. And our selection for this Thanksgiving week is the Grade 1 Clark at a mile and an eighth at Churchill Downs, which honors Meriwether Lewis Clark, who is the man who founded the Louisville Jockey Club and hence Churchill Downs. So the Clark is always one of the big races of the fall, and we have a big field. 15 horses have entered into the Clark. Now the 15 horse in love is an also eligible, which means that uh, that horse will only get into this race if someone else scratches out of it uh, by the time that the entries are finalized. Uh, and similar to the way that Order of Australia got into the Breeders' Cup mile at Keeneland, he was a number 15, and he actually won. But we aren't anticipating that happening here in this field of 15. We're going to look at the 14 horses that did draw in and give you our top selections. Now, as we look at the speed figures for this race... The highest speed average of the best four of the last five starts belongs to By My Standards, who actually ran in the Breeders' Cup Classic at Keeneland not that long ago and finished eighth in there behind Authentic, uh, who will more than likely be the horse of the year, by the way. Uh, By My Standards speed figure is 103.25. The second highest figure belongs to Owen Dale, who has a 102.5. Owendale has uh, been running pretty well of late, ran second in the Pimlico Special and the Ali Sheba, Ali Sheba both graded races, and was a winner uh, in the blame over the uh, Churchill Downs track back in May. Third horse over 100 is Code of Honor for trainer Shug McGahee. This is a race that I know that uh, McGahee was pointing toward with this horse. They had the option of maybe running in the Breeders' Cup Classic, elected not to to go here. So Code of Honor is likely going to be your favorite in this field of 14. The only other horse with a speed figure of 100 or better is number seven, Mr. Freeze. Mr. Freeze is uh, a horse that will have uh, David Cohen aboard for trainer Dale Rowan, Rail Romans, won the Fayette at Keeneland on October the 10th. So as we look at this, we really have those four standout speed figures of By My Standards, Owen Dale, Code of Honor, and Mr. Freeze. No one else, not only is over 100, but no one else has a higher number than 96.25, which is Bodie Express. So I think that you really have a separation with your A speed here of those four horses, Code of Honor, Mr. Freeze, Owen Dale, and By My Standards. Now, who is going to be Chamberlain's choice in this particular race? Well, the honor is going to go to number nine, Owen Dale. We like Owen Dale for a couple of reasons in here. Uh, has finished behind By My Standards a couple of times this year, but that Breeders' Cup Classic performance, that eighth place finish for By My Standards, I find a little worrying uh, going into a race like this. It's a big, bulky field. And, you you know, in, in big field races like this, you never know what could happen. You get a troubled trip. You can run into all kinds of traffic trouble, something along those lines. I like Owendale a little bit in here more than the rest. Florent Giroux will have the ride for trainer Brad Cox. This horse is by Into Mischief, who actually broke Tappet's record for uh, earnings uh, for your progeny uh, in a season uh, this week. And uh, Owendale really has uh, uh, a horse that could add to that total for Into Mischief. We like Owendale on top in here. Did run fifth in the Breeders' Cup Dirt Mile behind Nick's Go at uh, Keeneland earlier. But, uh, you know, stretching back, I have to go a mile and an eighth. I think Owendale is the horse in here that's going to be Chamberlain's choice. Our second pick is number 12, By My Standards, with that field high speed figure of 103.25. By My Standards, with the exception of that Breeders' Cup Classic, is a horse that always seems to bring uh, a really good effort. Had won the time before in the Ali Sheba at Churchill Downs uh, back on Labor Day weekend. Uh, by My Standards will be ridden by uh, Gabriel Saez for trainer Brett Calhoun. That horse is by Golden Sense, which also means that Into Mischief is on the sire side of the lineage there, because Golden Sense is by Into Mischief. So By My Standards is our second choice. 
Third choice, sticking with the theme of the horses that are over 100 on our board, is going to be number three, Code of Honor. Now, I know a friend uh, that I have up in uh, Delaware is a huge Code of Honor fan, and when uh, I was telling him that we're doing the video for this race tonight, he said, is Code of Honor in the field? And I said, yes. And he said, winner. So that's the horse I know that my friend up there in Delaware likes, and I'm sure he'll be commenting on the video because I didn't pick this horse to win, but Code of Honor is our third choice. I mentioned trained by Shug McGahee. The rider will be Johnny V. John Velasquez was second in the Kelso last time out at Belmont. That was back on October 3rd, so coming back off of a layoff here, uh, a prolonged layoff of sorts for Code of Honor. Now, with those three horses as our top three picks, we usually think there's going to be someone that's uh, a, a horse that's a little bit of longer price that's going to come stumbling in maybe and pick up a part of this and get into this, you know, uh, the top four. Our candidates here are Bodie Express, Aurelius Maximus, uh, Title Ready, and Multiplier, both with those 95s, and maybe Crafty Daddy at 94.5. So of those, the one that we think is going to get into the mix here and possibly get into the trifecta, possibly get up into the superfecta, is number five, Aurelius Maximus. That speed figure of 96 is just off Bodie Express's 96.25, has two wins in the uh, scope of our last five races here, having won a couple of optional claiming races, one at Fairgrounds, one at Churchill Downs, and that one at Churchill Downs was back on September the 5th, so another Labor Day weekend uh, performance there at Churchill Downs for Aurelius Maximus, who will be ridden by Ricardo Santana Jr., and if you've been following, you know that whenever Santana is riding, usually that means the trainer is Steve Asmussen, and that is the case here. Another very well-bred horse by Pioneer of the Nile, which means you have Empire Maker on the top side of the lineage. Empire Maker, one of my all-time favorites, and this horse is also out of an AP Indy mare, so you have nothing but top-notch breeding for Aurelius Maximus. So as we take a look at our board and take a look at our selections for the uh, uh, Clark. We have our four picks on the board here. Number nine, Owendale is the top selection. Number 12, By My Standards, is the second choice. Number three, Code of Honor is our third choice, and number five, Aurelius Maximus, will round out our top four. We are boxing the top four in the Exacta, so it's a $1 Exacta box of four horses for $12, and we have a $1 trifecta box of our top three, 3, 9, 12. We think these are really standout horses, 3, 9, and 12, and that's who we're boxing in the trifecta for a dollar, and we're going to use Chamberlain's Choice in a $5 win place bet as well, so that's another $10 onto our total, making our total investment on the Clark on Friday at Churchill Downs, $28. So that is our look at the Clark, which is coming up on Friday this week, the day after Thanksgiving. We want to be sure to wish all of you a very happy holiday weekend, and we hope you enjoy your Thanksgiving turkey. I'm Michael Chamberlain. Like this video, comment on the video, subscribe to Chamberlain's Choice. Thank you for watching.